This bar calls my name, and she doesn't know me anymore. This bar has memories to pour like spirits. I wish, like we all know exactly what we would do with it. A million, a feeling that I can hold down or ignore when I'm awake, but when I'm asleep, when I'm asleep, the dream world still adores your face. I keep looking for a light switch to flip to prove that this is all a nightmare, this pain I can't bear while holding hot coals with callous care. My main question is, how can I attempt to nourish growth if the very idea of me being alright is a joke? I keep shifting best friends like a deck of cards. I invest so much energy into the stars, desperate for my emotions to be fed, using that glow like a guiding beacon when my light has long been dead. My heart is a ceramic football in the hands of Peyton, trying to thread a needle. I'm a mess lost in J-A-X, but I'm right at home in Heathrow at times. I want to take a page from Heath and just go while I'm on top. I get time for this pain to stop, but when it does leave from one woman, it's immediately swapped. I'm going to bleed on the outside. I want to be good to whoever is careless enough to get lost in my eyes. I'm a five, cleverly disguised as a ten, sometimes disgusted with my with ends, only at my most honest with a pen. I feel like every poem should end I'm noticing under the microscope, and I have the privilege of seeing this might give hope to whoever is brave enough to provoke their inner truth to choke out God and leave the stage in smoke. I'm aware, though, that not everyone feels this way. And when I'm at my lowest, this bar calls my name. The street signs remember the 15-year-old me, ready to crack a bottle and throw a fist to be free. And she, she doesn't know me anymore. And when I'm at this lowest, I know my bar will have an open door. Thank you.